Next is meiosis. Meiosis is a type of cell division in which haploid cells are produced from a diploid cell. It occurs in special cells called germ cells within the gonads of males and females and generates the male and female gametes for reproduction. In order to reduce the chromosome number by half, two successive rounds of division are required. These divisions are called meiosis I and meiosis II. Although the processes of meiosis and mitosis look similar, there are a few differences. The obvious difference is that mitosis results into two diploid daughter cells, while meiosis results into four haploid daughter cells. Just like mitosis, meiosis begins after the cell has undergone the interface stage. During interface, the DNA is replicated, producing two copies of each chromosome called sister chromatids. The paired centrioles duplicate and begin extending microtubules. Sister chromatids remain attached at the centromere and condense as the cell enters process 1 of meiosis. Up to this point, the cell looks similar to mitosis, but two events occur in meiosis that do not occur in mitosis. The first event occurs during process 1, when homologous pairs of chromosomes lie side by side in a process called synapsis, forming a tetrad or bivalent. Remember, homologous pairs share similar but not necessarily identical genes. Once this happens, the second event, called crossing over, can occur. During crossing over, a physical exchange of chromosome segments of non-sister chromatids occurs, which increases genetic diversity. Prophes 1 concludes with the disintegration of the nuclear envelope as the duplicated central pairs move to opposite poles of the cell while extending the spindle fibers. During metaphase 1, the spindle fibers are now completely formed. The chromosomes, still associated as bivalents, are attached to the spindle fibers by their kineticals. The chromosomes now align along the metaphase plate such that the homologous chromosomes orient towards the opposite poles. The cell enters anaphase 1. In anaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes separate and move to the opposite poles. Meiosis 1 ends with telophase 1 when the chromosomes decondense and the nuclear envelope reforms. The cytoplasmic material is separated during cytokinesis and a cleavage furrow separates the two daughter cells. The two daughter cells now enter the second meiotic division or meiosis 2. The cell enters into a short interface without chromosome replication. The centrioles duplicate and begin moving to the opposite poles of each cell while extending the spindle fibers. In process 2, the sister chromatids condense and the spindle fibers extend and the nuclear envelope disappears. In metaphase 2, the sister chromatids attach to the spindles, with the sister chromatids attached to the opposite poles. The chromosomes align along the metaphase plate. During anaphase 2, sister chromatids are separated and move towards the opposite poles. The process ends in telophase 2 as the chromosomes decondense and the nuclear envelopes reform. Cytokinesis occurs and cleavage furrows separate the two daughter cells into four haploid daughter cells. The haploid daughter cells will specialize into either sperms or ova. This will fuse during fertilization to form a zygote and hence restore the diploid number of chromosomes. The zygote will divide by mitosis and grow into a child. So the child will get half of its chromosomes from the mother and half from the father.